hey, this is my lesson plan here on stay away from drugs and try to help you to stay away and also try to be a little on coping skills, how to stay away from them. I'm going to start with the lesson plan of giving you uh, some questions. Uh, what do you do if you're offered drugs? What would you do? I would say no. Okay, how would you go about it to say no? I come up to you and I ask you, hey, you know, here, I got some drugs for you. What are you going to do? I would uh, probably walk away. And would run away. And that's how you would do it? Yeah. How about if the person would pursue you and keep on asking you and asking you and every time he see you or he would say or call you names because you don't want to use drugs, what would you do? I'll call the cops. Good, good. And you? How would you handle it? Say no, sir. Peer pressure doesn't do nothing to me. Have you been uh, had applied with peer pressure before? Mm -hmm. How do you handle that as far as using drugs and drugs are involved? I just, it never interests me, so I never really had, you know, any problem saying I didn't want to use drugs if I had interest in it. Do you, do you know any other students that use drugs? Have you encountered that? Oh, yeah. And what do you do when you see them using drugs? Well, there's really nothing much I can do. I mean, it's their choice at the end of the day. Do you tell the teacher? Do you tell your parents? What do you, what do, you do? I don't do any of that. I mean, it doesn't really, if it doesn't concern me, I don't feel like I have a say in anybody else's life. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, the guy who choose, the guy choose to walk away, the others choose to consume. And how easy do you think it is to, to get drugs in school? Very easy. And why is that? How do you, have you seen a lot of people using drugs? Have you seen drugs or not? Yeah, there's always drugs. No one else has drugs. And how do you stay away from them? You don't hang out and associate with that person. Exactly, that's what, exactly what I was going to tell you myself. You stay away from them, you don't use them, you don't hang around those kind of people, and if they offer you drugs, don't let the pressure get to you. You stay strong and, and you stay away from them. How about you? How do you I them? think it just depends on the individual. I hang around with people that use drugs and doubt drugs, and it just, it never interests me. So, literally, I hang around with people. To this day, I hang around with people that some use and I don't. So it's Let's, just it's just on the person. If you want to use, I mean you could be around it and not use. Well you're very strong minded and that's really wow, that's really good. You have a strong resilience towards people that do use. But in time I think it's better to try to stay away from people that use completely. Let me go to the next slide. Okay, coping skills. We all have trauma in school and we all have problems um, what's a, what is that you do to stay away from uh, like getting stressed out? What do you do to try to have coping skills with stress? Walk, run, play video games, drive. That's a good answer. Those are good things to do because a lot of people they, they get stressed out and they get anxiety and they go to drugs to try to stay away from them. And how about you? How do you, what do you do? Uh, exercise, uh, play sports. Um, Stay busy. Good. Those are all excellent, excellent uh, answers. And also, you could go to groups that you talk about it and tell them how you don't want to stay away from drugs and how you don't want to use. And you you collaborate with each other and make positive activities and go to places that were that are really positive to the park or go swimming together, go play baseball or anywhere, things like that. Okay, exercising is great. Um, what else can you think of that you do? What do you Coping skills to try to As far as what? Like coping with the pressure or coping? Well, the thing is for me to try to help you with is think about the things that get you upset and how you handled them before. How Think of a plan how to handle them better now and not resort to doing negative activities or, or thinking about using drugs. Think about doing positive activities and, and make a plan right now when something arises that upsets you, how to go to a positive outlet instead of a negative outlet. That's what I'm saying. Could you think of any really positive things to do if you're upset? Could you give me... Go ride my bike. 
Well, that's going to be different for everybody because everybody has different coping skills. Exactly. Everybody's an individual and everybody expresses themselves differently. And that's why you have to do your coping skills individually. That's great. That's great. I really like that. Well, for now, that uh, concludes our, our lesson plan. We'll go to more and, and we'll continue to make other lesson plans that will help. Stuff that may not work, that's why it's just a plan. If it doesn't work, we'll make another plan until we get a really concrete plan to help you with coping skills and how to stay away from drugs. And I thank you.